full subject-based banding, or FSBB, will be fully implemented in secondary schools for the secondary one cohort from next year onwards. This means that streaming will be removed. With this move, students can customize their learning by taking a combination of subjects at different levels suited to their strengths and pace of learning. In line with this shift, MOE will adjust the admissions criteria for post-secondary pathways to recognize more diverse profiles of learners and provide them with more options. The range of post-secondary pathways that students could be eligible for will no longer be limited to streams, but their performance at different subject levels. More students will be able to access the Polytechnic Foundation Program, or PFP. Today, PFP is only open to eligible students for the normal academic stream. To allow a wider learner profile to benefit from the PFP, access to the PFP will be expanded to include students taking G3 subjects or a mix of G3 and G2 level subjects. This change will take place from the 2028 PFP intake and the number of students accepted every year could increase up to 2,600 from about 1,700 today. The PFP admissions criteria will be maintained to ensure that students continue to have the fundamentals to cope with the rigour of the PFP. In 2026, students will be admitted to broad clusters such as the science and humanities, arts, media and business before choosing a specific diploma in the cluster after the PFP. Students will have more time to make informed choices. Polytechnics can also better match students' interests and abilities with specific diplomas. DEALS builds on our efforts to expose students to multiple causes in a cluster before deciding on a specific diploma that they want to pursue. Second, MOE will review admissions to Polytechnic Year 1 to better recognise the different subject levels that are taken by students. For example, today, students have to take five G3 subjects to be eligible for Polytechnic Year 1. With full subject-based banding, some may take subjects at the G2 level, and we are exploring allowing one G2 subject to be considered for admission. In addition to these enhancements, ITE students will have more opportunities and flexibility to determine their skills and competencies through the expansion of the ITE diploma offerings. These offerings will enable students to better attain work-ready skills in line with changing industry needs. ITE's Work Study Diplomas, or WSDIPs, and the Technical Diplomas, or TDs, are apprenticeship-based, which cater to students who prefer a more hands-on learning style. WSDIPs also place students in jobs related to their discipline of study, allowing them to deepen their skills through a structured training program. Thus far, about 1,600 students have graduated from ITE diploma programs with positive employment outcomes and salaries comparable to that of Polytechnic graduates. In 2023, ITE will expand its WSDIPS offering by launching four new programs, bringing together a total of 40 programs under the WSDIPS initiative. ITE will also double the technical diploma programs offering six TDs, up from three today. A total of 1,400 places will be offered across ITE diploma programs, enabling more than 10% of ITE NITEC and higher NITEC graduates to progress through these pathways. In conclusion, as we enhance our education policies in response to changing needs, we will help every student make the best of these opportunities and nurture them into skillful and resilient Singaporeans.